When I'm riding through your hood, east side be with me. So the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it. I'm a cow ain't dead, Jay. I'm a cow ain't dead, Jay. Gang. Why they lying to them people? Like, tell them people the truth. So they been misled, they been misinformed. Like, you niggas know what's up with me in real life, though. That's all good. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we're going to be talking about Mo3 and DJ Academics. All right, so look, man. Now, DJ Academics, I'm pretty sure every one of you know of him. In my opinion, probably one of the biggest solo voices in hip hop right now, especially for the younger generation. But he actually spoke about the recent run in with uh, Mo 3's people in Yalla Beezy's homeboy, Trap Boy. Him and his chat broke down the video, he gave his thoughts on it. And in conclusion, he awarded the W to Yalla Beezy's homeboy for the fact that he didn't run and he left untouched. And I gotta disagree with DJ Academics here because in my opinion, this entire situation is a 50-50 thing. I think both sides did what they supposed to have done logically, but I think both sides took a few hits as well. Nobody really won in this situation. I mean, the fact that nobody got hurt, that's always a win, right? But if we being real, both parties are supposed to have done something. Like, trust me, I'm with y'all. It's mind boggling to me as well that he walked away untouched after all of the Mo3 dissing he's been doing. It seems it'll be quote unquote on site whenever Mo3 people seen him. But on the flip side, man, this guy was dissing Mo3 for the last two years. So why when you're finally face to face with Mo3's people, it was no more Mo3 disrespect. Matter of fact, they tried to fight you and you turn down the fight and walk away. If you really feel like that, why not diss Mo3 right in front of his people's face? Because in my opinion, all of the diss songs from here on out, they're pointless now. I mean, you was just in front of their face. They were trying to fight you. You walked away. If you wanted to diss them, you should have dissed them right in front of their face. Just like they had the opportunity to do something to you, he had the opportunity to diss Mo3. But instead, he walked away, and now he's going to make more diss songs about Mo3. Instead of, like, saying it in their face when he was there. So to be honest with you, I think both sides had its flaws. And please stop the narrative. Ah, they was recording what he's supposed to do. He shoot somebody, he going back to jail. Man, he had, like, three other people with him. I'm pretty sure at least one of them was strapped as well. Texas is an open carry state. If anything... Mo3 people recording the incident would have made it better on Yalla Beezy's homeboy's behalf. Because now you got all the evidence in the world. This is why I smoked them. They ran up on me. And this is the evidence. Ultimately, I get both sides like I'm not even being biased in this situation. If I'm Yalla Beezy people, I'm not trying to go back to jail. If I'm Mo3 people, I'm just trying to beat you up. I don't even have a gun on me. You clutching like you got a gun. Texas is an open carry state. You got it this time, but just know we'll meet again. And what DJ Academics doesn't know, these aren't just like random Mo3 homeboys from the hood ready to crash out. They actually got stuff going on with themselves. So yeah, they not trying to murder somebody in front of a money bag yo concert either. Nonetheless, I get both parties a W, but I also get both parties a L. That's just my take on it, coming from an unbiased uh, perspective because y'all know I'm a diehard Mo3 fan. But I am trying to be completely fair uh, with this take here. He should have never walked away untouched. And if he had the balls to be this and Mo3 over the last two years, he should have been able to say it right there in front of their face and not only do it behind song. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZFBaby. 252, Long Lil Mo 3. I'm gone. I already know these niggas lying, OG. These niggas just be doing this shit for views and likes, man. Real talk. They don't like Mo 3. They don't like Mo 3. You don't like Osama 3 lines. Hold on, wait up. What you talking about? Like, I'm big Osama, yeah, y'all talking to a dead man. Why? I, 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 I did this for my dog, yeah, this dead kid, man. Prolific. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry.
Fuck this in the street. Bitch, I'm in the street. Fuck this in the street.